Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art, and today we're going to be creating one point perspective swirls. So a one point perspective is a drawing method where things appear to get further away as they recede into a single vanishing point, which is usually on the horizon line. So to give you an example of what we're creating, we've got these swirl shapes, along the edge of the page and a vanishing point which is in the middle of the page. So instead of having the swirls around the page looking as if they're 2D, we're going to make them appear 3D through this method. So to begin, all you'll need is a piece of cartridge paper, a fine liner, coloured pencils, an eraser and a ruler. If you wanted to draft your work first, you could work in a pencil and then go over the top with a fine liner, but I'm going to directly go onto the page with a fine liner. So what you'll need to do is start off with your vanishing point, which we'll put around the middle of the page. So that's where everything will converge into. And from there, we're going to draw some swirls, different shapes and sizes around that vanishing point. So once you've got a few swirls on your page, the next step is to find the edge of each of your swirls. So you'll need a ruler and a good starting point is to go from your vanishing point in the middle and move your ruler around until you find the start of your swirl. So as you can see, as I move my ruler around, I've hit that point of my first swirl and it's always good to work from the center and move out instead of starting with your bigger shapes at the back. So this shape is quite close to that point. So I'm going to draw a line going from my vanishing point to the edge of my swirl. And then I'm going to move my ruler around until I find the very end of my shape. So you can see that my ruler is just hitting the tip here. So I'm going to draw another line and then that will turn my swirl into a solid shape, but it doesn't look quite completed yet. And that's because we need to join every edge of our swirl back to this vanishing point. So as I move my ruler back from the start to the edge, my starting point of my swirl is just going to go a little bit inwards. And the reason why we're not drawing all the way back to that point is because we've created that solid shape. So we don't want this line going all the way through, otherwise this shape won't look solid anymore. So just one more edge that we need to find, which is just here on the outside of the swirl, joining in, and then that gives it that curved look as if it's going all the way around. So you can see the inside and the outside of that swirl shape because we've made it a solid form. So now what I'm going to do is draw a few more of these shapes. So using the same method, going from your point and then moving until you find the edge of your shape. to make sure that those ends are joined so this one slightly overlaps so just a short line there to give it that 3d sense of depth now depending on where your perspective is and how you rotate your page around the horizon line changes the way that you see the shape so if you turn your page around then it's still the same perspectives but one shape has gone from being above your line of sight and the other shape has gone to being below your line of sight. So for the rest of these shapes, we're going to apply the same methods and can continue to join them up to our vanishing point.
now I've drawn all the lines connecting those swirls to our vanishing point. So now we've got some solid forms here. And what I'm going to do to create more of that sense of depth is use our colored pencils to color in our shapes. And what I'm going to focus on is as our shapes converge, I'm going to color darker and darker with our pencils, creating tone and that sense of depth because everything that's coming towards us will appear lighter, everything that's moving away will appear darker. So just using some of those tonal techniques with our colored pencils and our eraser, I'm going to try and emphasize that sense of depth. Now I've finished adding a little bit of colour, so you could definitely do this just using a HB pencil and then working on your tones from that. If you had watercolours as well, you could add those to your work, but otherwise I'm happy with this and it gives you a bit of an idea of how to go about doing perspective works with shapes that aren't completely geometric or solid. So using something like swirls can be a bit of a challenge instead of solid objects like squares or rectangles, so it creates a little bit of interest in your perspective. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.